What's going on, everybody? My name is Mason Foles, one of the winnersandwiners.com expert handicappers, here today on January 7th, 2023, with another free pick video. Happy Saturday to everyone. Hope you guys had a fantastic Friday night. Most importantly, I hope you guys are ready for a few more picks today. Now, I did have to make this video a little bit earlier than usual, so I won't be having any recaps today or Sunday. It's my best friend's actually getting married. I'm uh, part of the wedding and I uh, got a lot of stuff going on with him, but don't you worry. I'm staying locked in. I got a bunch of great picks going. We're going to be looking to take down the books this weekend. So get ready for that because I'm extremely excited. And I love our free pick today. Now, if you guys could please like, subscribe, hit that bell, comment to tell me what you're betting on or what you want to see. And I'll keep cranking these videos out for you guys. I appreciate your interaction so much. You guys mean the world to me. All your comments. I love chatting with you guys. You guys have been nailing your games left and right. And uh, I'll be making sure to respond as quickly as I can today. Still have my phone, so I'll still be checking those comments and uh, be looking to take down the books. Also wanted to still remind you guys that this video is still sponsored by No House Advantage, a daily fantasy sports app where you can pick over or under on player prop totals with a chance to take down the book. You could win up to 21 times your money. This app's super easy to use. You guys will love it. I've been making a bunch of money with it. So I'm going to put a link in the description along with a promo code so you guys can pick up some free credits and get started with that today. Now, with my free pick, I like the Jacksonville Jaguars, minus six and a half at home against the Tennessee Titans, as I see them winning this final game of the season, pushing their way into the playoffs. Now, Tennessee, they'll be starting Josh Dobbs at quarterback, so he hasn't much hasn't had much experience in the NFL as a starter. Looked okay last week, but uh, I don't think he's good enough to get the job done for his team. They're still averaging the 30th most pass yards per game, the 30th most total yards per game. In the 28th most points, they're going to have to rely on Derrick Henry a ton in this game. He sat out last week, and uh, I just don't think he's 100%. He's been banged up all year, and uh, he's going to struggle to stay healthy through this one. He's going to get hit a bunch. He's going to get the ball a bunch. He's not going to carry his team to victory. The Jacksonville defense, they're actually allowing the 11th least amount of rush yards. As I see them loading the box, doing everything they can to stop the run. They're also allowing the 12th least amount of points per game. So they've slowly climbed up the ranks on the defensive side of the ball. They're not allowing their uh, opponents to consistently get into the end zone. And uh, they're showing up like when they have to. They've been pretty solid over the last few weeks. And I really like their offense. They run an extremely balanced offense as they can move the ball on the ground or through the air. And Trevor Lawrence continues to ascend in the correct direction. So I see him taking another leap in this one, getting his team into the postseason. Now, Jacksonville, they're averaging the 8th most total yards per game, the 11th most points, in the 10th most rushing and passing yards. It's like I said, they can move the ball on the ground or the air as uh, Travis Edeen has been solid out of their backfield. Like I said, Lawrence has been slinging the rock. This Tennessee defense, they're also horrible against the pass. So they're giving up the most pass yards per game, the 25th most total yards, and they've lost six straight. They just don't have it run in right now. They're without Tannehill. They're not putting in Malik Willis, their first round or early draft pick. And, uh, they're putting a lot of pressure on Josh Dobbs. I don't see that paying out for him. So I'm going to take the Jacksonville Jaguars at minus six and a half. I got this pick at minus 110. Now we'll see all of you back in the green. I'd also love it if you guys could still use my promo code, MAS9P3F50 at the end of checkout. Just put that in. I'll take some money off the top before we win some more. And uh, it'll get us started for a great Saturday. Also have my best bet available as uh, it's $49.99. Been killing it with these premium picks. And I've uh, been loving these NFL games to end the season. My best bet today is in the Chiefs versus Raiders game. So I've picked a side in this one. So if you guys need a winner, don't be afraid to hop on that pick. I'd also like to give you guys my last reminder. The uh, Winners and Winners main account, they've been buzzing, tweeting a lot more. And uh, putting out a lot of free picks, a lot of promos. Some big parlays have been won over there. And uh, it's just a great spot to be if you guys are looking to, cash, looking to win some cash. You guys can also check out my Twitter account. And my long-term subscriptions is I'm handicapping in all sports. I'm looking to take down the books. We've had a great summer, a great fall. Now we're turning it into a great winter as uh, we're going to continue to attack all these games. We're going to look to strike it rich. So if you guys want to jump on those long-term subscriptions, don't be afraid to do that. So happy Saturday to everyone. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for coming and checking out this video. If you guys could please like, comment, and subscribe so you can come back tomorrow and catch another free pick. So I'm going to be looking to dominate the final week of the NFL Sunday games. And uh, I want you guys on my side. So check out that video. I'll look to see you in the green. Have a great Saturday. And thank you guys so much.